Welcome to Billboards123.com, your source for quick change framing systems for large format banners. The installation of the framing system is quick and easy. I will start with the mounting of the bottom horizontal iframe onto a cube box truck. I am drilling into the studs as a safety precaution using self-tap screws. I am placing two screws at every stud. Now I am mounting the right vertical frame, which already has the right gearbox attached. Once again, I am drilling self-tap screws into the studs. Now I will fasten the brackets of the right gearbox onto the bottom horizontal right corner with hex nuts. Now I am going to connect the bottom activation bar to the bottom knob of the right gearbox with a 2 inch bracket and 2 hex nuts. Next I mount the left vertical frame the same way I did the right vertical frame. We're ready to mount the top horizontal frame. Please make sure that the top frame is the same width as the top of the two vertical frames. As a safety precaution, always make sure to drill directly into the studs with self-tap screws. Then be sure to reinforce them from the inside with hex nuts. I am reinforcing the screws with hex nuts on the inside to make sure that the vibration of the truck will not loosen them up. I also use machine screws and fender washers as a safety precaution in locations where I cannot screw directly into a stud. Now I am ready to slide in the banner. As you can see, I grab the banner at the top flange. Hold the banner straight as possible to feed the flange into the channel track so the banner doesn't snag during entry. I can just zip in the entire banner till the end. It does not matter whether you slide the banner in from the left or the right side. The banner is completely in the top horizontal frame. It is still loose on the two verticals and at the bottom. So let's start inserting the flange at the right side of the banner into the banner gripper. After inserting the right flange into the banner gripper, Using a 3 quarter inch wrench, I will turn the top knob counterclockwise until I hear a click. This grips the right side of the banner without any tension. Next I use the same method on the left side of the banner to the left vertical frame. I turn the knob on the left gearbox clockwise to capture the left flange until I hear a click. I repeat the same steps with the bottom horizontal flange. Then I turn the lower knob on the right gearbox clockwise. I double check that all three flanges are invisible and inserted into the banner grippers. To tension the banner and remove any wrinkles, I turn the lower knob on the right gearbox clockwise, one click to position number two, and the upper right knob counterclockwise, one click to position number two. To remove or replace the banner is simple. Turn the knob on the left gearbox counterclockwise. Turn the upper knob on the right gearbox clockwise. Turn the lower knob on the right gearbox counterclockwise. This releases the banner from the grippers. Then just simply slide the top banner flange out of the top frame. 